Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna think about something we were told as kids in the past. Your parents probably told you, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, today on PGH Train Fanatic, we're gonna prove them otherwise. So as many of you know, this hobby is very expensive. Model railroading is just an expensive hobby. But if you're just stopping by the channel and you're not a model railroader and you do another hobby, you could probably relate that any hobby pretty much is expensive because it's a hobby. So I've come up with a cool and clever way of growing money on trees. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your local model railroading hobby supply store and buy the biggest tree that you can find. And I found this massive tree that we are going to grow money on. And I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so after you get your large tree, you're gonna to wanna to find a premier place to put your tree on your model railroad. So I've decided to put it right here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Once we find that premier location and we have our tree, I'm just gonna to wanna to take a small dish like this that you have some coins in and start to put your coins around the base of the tree. It doesn't matter if you use pennies or nickels or quarters. Any coins will do. So we have to make sure there's no gaps. I see one little gap right here. Oh, there's another one right in the back. Right there. All right. All of our coins are touching on the base of the tree. You can see they're all touching. Looks great. Okay, the next step is taking an actual real dollar bill. You can see this is a real dollar bill. And you're just going to want to start to cut it up. It's going to keep cutting it up into a bunch of pieces here. And you want to put the pieces under the, the tree. You have to make sure this is a real dollar bill now. It can't be fake. So you get all your pieces of the dollar bill. Put those on top of the coin. Make sure they're on top of the coins, not anywhere else. And that looks pretty good. The next step is taking a water bottle, just filled with normal water, and we're going to miss the tree. But the one very important step in this is you need to use a green bottle because green means money. Now we're just gonna start to miss the tree down. Make sure you get the dollar wet at the bottom and the tree wet all over, like so. You don't need tons of water, just enough to get it just a little damp. You let this grow overnight and we'll see how it goes in the morning and what it looks like. Okay guys, it's the middle of the night and I just couldn't sleep. I was too excited to see if this tree was growing any money. So let's sneak back here and see if our tree is growing any money yet. Oh, it is. Look at that. They're little miniature dollars. Don't pluck it yet. You have to wait for them to ripen. <coughs> All right, guys, it's the morning and we're gonna go see if our tree grew any money. Oh my God, look at this. There's money growing on this tree. Look at that. That is awesome. There's so much money on this tree, look at this. And you can actually pick it, see, like that. Real money. But there's one trick. If you continue to let this grow uh, overnight, another couple nights, it can grow larger bells. A few moments later. All right, a couple days have gone by. Oh, I hope this grew a lot of money. Oh my gosh, look at this. It grew larger bells. 
Holy moly, that's awesome. Whoa, check this out. Holy crap, it even grew a hundred. Got ourselves a money growing tree. I hope you guys can grow some money on your trees too. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. Good luck growing money on your trees.